Hey, working on the uh, insulation and heat reduction in my garage again. We did the video just earlier, I'll add that in the description below about how to uh, insulate your garage door for less than 50 bucks. We saw about a 10-15 degree drop just in the door. So we started with the day, eventually I want to get full insulation to R45 down the floors as you can see in this house. The insulation stops at the actual home, but in the garage there's absolutely nothing. There is no insulation of any sort. So first start with this radiant barrier. You can get this at almost home, any home uh, store that you have in your area, Home Depot, Lowe's, something like that. It's actually not that much. I think it costs about 150 bucks per side, but it makes a huge difference, more than just putting the um, insulation down. So the radiant barrier, what happens is the sun comes in, hits it, turns around, goes out the other way. Uh, much like what you'll see on some of your RVs and other heat shields, even in motors and stuff like that, you'll see this stuff put in there. I'll give you kind of a difference of, show you what it's doing. So we'll look at the, I haven't got to this side, so we'll show you a quick difference. So right here, I put the radiant barrier. So it is only 80 degrees outside but because of the shingles on top. Of course, everything is a lot hotter. So it's 108 right there. I just, and I just put that on. It's 108. And get a better visual there. 137. 136, 137. And that is 108. 108 again and the Sun is actually on that side this is actually the shaded side right now for the way my house sits you can even see in the studs themselves a difference in temperature I'll give you that so if we shoot that stud right there 100 114 we shoot this stud right here 106 so you're seeing about a 30 degree drop 15 degree drop, 10 degree drop, just depends on where you're looking at. Um, even the sheetrock itself, um, we can probably get a shot of that. Get this to focus. Ninety-five degrees, ninety-five, ninety-seven degrees over here, where there's no radiant barrier. We're at 100 degrees. And that comes all the way down just to the sheetrock. So once we're done with the radiant barrier, what you want to do, actually, I'll tell you how to put this in. The easiest way is actually to start at the top. Start at the top, put your first layer down. So I used 16 inch wide, then I went a, a 48 and a 48. You can buy these in 16 inch wide, 48, 48, and a 24. I got them all in 25 foot long links, which was actually nice because it was three inches longer than what I needed. And I'm going to use the overhang. I'm going to put a gable fan down there. I'm going to actually put the heat shield down there on the end too because that's where the sun's coming in at right now. So yeah, you want to start at the top, staple across, keep it taut. Don't close all the way up here though because you'll have ridge vents. So what happens is I put the um, soffit vents all along underneath here to make sure that we don't lose any airflow. So the, you know, out of your soffits down there on the side of the house, you see those little grills, comes up, shoots up this channel, and the air goes out. I also have these vents, so you'll want to cut around those too. So make sure you don't cover up the very top, so you leave about a six inch opening there, and you want to leave about a six inch opening down at the bottom. So down here, I put some flooring, some uh, loose flooring in here so I can walk around. Um, so you want to make sure that those aren't covered. Next, we will run bat insulation across this way here, and then we'll run bat. So first you want to do faced on the bottom, face towards the sheetrock. So one face side, you'll do for your size, two by four or two by six um, insulation. And it'll, when you look at the package, it'll actually tell you right there on the side of the package what size you're looking at. So you want, I have two by fours. If you have a two by six, you want to get those. And then once those are level with the two by fours, then you'll run your next set perpendicular that way. That way the air doesn't come through a straight line crack. So if you have them alternating, you have them going this way and then the next set this way. So the first ones I have will be R15 going across the bottom. That's what it's rated for and it'll be level at the top of those studs. 
Then the next set will be R30, which will go perpendicular to that and go across, which you add those two together, you get R45. And then I got an R15 out of that. So I'm gonna end up with an R60. Um, but it actually ends up being a little more than an R60 because the radiant barrier for how it works. Um, it actually cools down everything that the sun is touching. Um, I'm really surprised how much that worked um, and how quickly, especially right after I put it on, how much cooler it is. And I, you know, even if I scan down there in the bottom where I started this morning, it's just the same temperature as the one I just put in up here. So even after over time, like I said, the sun is on that side. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, I respond pretty quickly. Thanks, guys. Bye.